Grandpa Bill, Grandpa Bill, story time with Grandpa Bill. It's Grandpa Bill's story time. Yay! Hi, I'm Grandpa Bill. Welcome to Grandpa Bill's story time. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, and we're going to sit down and read a good book. Okay, today's book is Danny and the Dinosaur by Sid Hoff. <laughs> oh, there must be Danny. Big dinosaur. One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. He saw Indians and bears and Eskimos. He saw guns and swords. And he saw dinosaurs. Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he had one. I'm sorry they are not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with a dinosaur. And I think it will be nice to play with you, said a voice. Can you, said Danny. Yes, said the dinosaur. Oh, good, said Danny. What can we do? I can take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. He put his head down so Danny could get on him. Let's go, said Danny. Yay! A policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. <laughs> the dinosaur was so tall, Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look out, said Danny. Oh no, the clothesline. Bow wow, said a dog, running after them. He thinks you are a car, said Danny. Go away, dog. We are not a car. I can make a noise like a car, said the dinosaur. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> what big rocks, said the dinosaur. They are not rocks, said Danny. They are buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. Oh, no, there's people inside. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over houses or stores with his long tail. Some people were waiting for a bus. They rode on the dinosaur's tail instead. <laughs> they had a free ride. All who want to cross the street may walk on my back, said the dinosaur. Oh, he made a little bridge for them. It's very nice of you to help me with my bundles, said a lady. Oh, he's a nice dinosaur. Danny and the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. It's good to take an hour or two off after a hundred million years, said the dinosaur. They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. Ooh, he's got a good view, huh? I wish we had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot toot went the boats. Toot toot went Danny and the dinosaur. Oh, it looks like fun, huh? Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten anything of that for a very long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says? Please keep off. They both had ice cream instead. Mmm. Let's go to the zoo and see the animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. And nobody stayed to see the seals, giraffes, or hippos either. Please go away so the animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Let's find my friends, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. Aw. There they are, said Danny. Why, it's Danny, Danny riding on a dinosaur, said the child. Maybe he'll give us a ride. May we have a ride, asked the children. I'd be delighted, said the dinosaur. Hold on tight, said Danny. Oh, the children are playing in the dinosaur. Around and around the block ran the dinosaur. Faster and faster. This is better than a merry-go-round, said the children. Whee! The dinosaur was out of breath. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur how to shake hands. 
Can you roll over on your back? asked the children. That's easy, said the dinosaur. He's smart, said Danny, patting the dinosaur. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek, said the children. How do you play it? asked the dinosaur. We hide and you try to find us, said Danny. The dinosaur covered his eyes. All the children ran to hide. The dinosaur looked and looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up, he said. Now it was time the dinosaurs turned to hide. The children covered their eyes. The dinosaur hid behind a house. The children found him. He hid behind a big sign. The children found him. <laughs> He's too big. He hid behind a big gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again and again. I guess there's no place for me to hide, cried the dinosaur. Let's make believe we can't find him, said Danny said. Where can he be? Oh, where? Where is the dinosaur? Where did he go? We give up, said the children. Here I am, said the dinosaur. Aw, they were being nice to him. The dinosaur wins. Yay, said the children. We couldn't find him. He fooled us. Hooray for the dinosaur, the children cried. Hooray, hooray. It got late and the other children left. Danny and the dinosaur were alone. Well, goodbye, Danny, said the dinosaur. Can't you come and stay with me, said Danny. We could have fun. No, said the dinosaur. I've had a good time. The best I've had in a hundred million years. But now I must get back to the museum. They need me there. Oh, said Danny. Well, goodbye. Danny watched until the long tail was out of sight. Then he went home alone. Oh, well, thought Danny. We don't have room for a pet that size anyway. But we did have a wonderful day. Aw. Danny and the Dinosaur by Sid Hoth. What a nice book. Thank you for sharing this book with me today and come back again for more stories with Grandpa Bell. Goodbye.